Hi everyone, Aiden here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at these Titan Chain Square Link Snow Tire Chains on our 2022 Ram 1500. The first thing you want to do with your tire chains when you're getting ready to install them is lay them out and make sure that nothing's tangled up or broken. These ones are looking pretty good. They do have a habit of tangling up inside the bag they come in, but these are looking good. Then we want to come to our cross sections of chain, and on each end we've got a link that's going to have a smooth side, I've got face down right now, as well as a hooked side, a more abrasive end that will be face up away from the tire. Next to those are our cam tensioners. Those we want to have on the outside of the tire chain where they can be accessed outside the vehicle. Once that's all done, we can grab the chain by the middle and then drape it over the tire carefully, being sure to not hit the vehicle, and then also make sure it's centered front to back and side to side. While we're doing this, just watch out for any potential twists or tangles around the chain here. Once we're happy with how it's sitting, we can go around back to make our first connection. Now on my end, there's gonna be a hook right there. And on your end, there's gonna be a series of free links. We wanna join these two ends together. We don't necessarily have to go to that very end link, but right now that's actually looking fairly good for me. So I'm gonna go around front and make my next connection. You probably wanna test these out in your driveway or your garage once or twice, just to find the right fit for your vehicle. There will be a specific link on the front and back that just gives you a better fit. And you wanna find that out in advance before you get out in the elements where you need these. Around front, we're gonna be feeding our lever arm through one of these free links. Now for me, this one is feeling like it's got too much tension to do by hand. So I'm gonna go for this third link. It doesn't quite get a great amount of tension on the tire chain when I fold it back, which typically we want, but it's the best we've got, and we've got the integrated cams. Now, we'll tighten those up using the included tool, pull that out of the bag, slot that into the cams, and turn them tight. You'll see that tire chain draw in as we do this. You can go around to each one. You probably will not need all of them. We certainly won't. Two seems to be doing the trick right here just fine. And at this point, I like to add a rubber tensioner. These don't come in the kit, but we always recommend them. They're just gonna be an extra layer of security to apply tension on the tire chain and make sure it stays snug. If you wanna pick these up, you can scroll down to the related parts section on the webpage and apply them in a star-shaped pattern relatively evenly back and forth. When I do this, I like to avoid the sections where the cams are, just because I don't want them pulling on the cams. Right about there is looking pretty good for us, and it's definitely feeling nice. You can see even a little bit here on the chains that some slack is getting pulled out by the tensioner, which is great to see. At this point, you wanna go ahead and install it on the other side, and then drive forward a few times hop out of the vehicle and check on them. Once you start driving, things might settle in, loosen up. If they do, make some final adjustments, tighten it up, and then you should be ready to hit the road. Now, like we mentioned in the beginning, these are a square-shaped link. And you can see that shape and how it sits on the tire a lot better now. That's going to give you a bit more bite than a twist link, which sits a little bit more low profile on the tire, but it's not quite as aggressive as a V-bar chain. So these are gonna be good for Really a variety of applications. Deep snow, good on ice, not the best for ice. Those V-bar style really bite into the ice, but this will be really nice as well. And then we've got the ladder pattern style, giving us good traction for starts and stops. The chain itself is a manganese nickel alloy construction, which is gonna help with durability and corrosion resistance, especially compared to the low carbon steel alternatives those just aren't gonna hold up as well. So if you want these to last through multiple seasons, I think these will definitely do a better job of that. I like having the cam tensioners for that fine tuning adjustment. I think those ones just tend to fit the tire a lot better and just work better over time. They do come in a canvas bag, like I mentioned before. 
I don't love these bags though. They don't tend to hold up very well. They have a tendency to rip over time and sometimes even come ripped from these chains poking through, especially the more aggressive chains. I always recommend picking up a plastic tote and using that to store your chains in. It's gonna be sealable, water resistant, and just more durable, easier to use over time. But regardless, I think these are going to be a really solid tire chain option. If you need something that's a bit more on the aggressive side, but still middle of the road, could be used on or off road, I think this is going to be a great option for you. If you need something more aggressive, check out a V-Bar option. Or if you need something more geared for on-road use, strictly on-road, check out a twist link option or even a cable chain. Thanks for watching.